We just moved to the neighborhood a few weeks ago. I thought I would be so lonely. But I haven't been lonely at all. The clubhouse kids have done so many fun things to welcome me to the neighborhood. They asked you to play on their soccer team. Then Zoe invited me to go to her house and to play in her backyard. And we got to pick a super special snack from her garden. Yum. Yesterday, Luca came back with his bike and we rode around the neighborhood all afternoon. After that, Miss Kathy Sue invited me and Zoe to go to her house and help make her a fun snack. I can't wait to see what my new friends want to do today. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Hoo! Hoo! Having fun with your friends, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. The clubhouse kids have done so many great things to welcome me to the neighborhood. That's wonderful to hear. Hoo! Hoo! I know someone else who loved well, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo! 
Sent with joy from me to you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. What a happy day to deliver the mail. I just love the mail. Look at this one. It's such a fun way to show people that you love them, which is what today's story is all about. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. And if you're ready for a story, on the count of three, say, ready, set, move. Okay? One, two, three, ready, set, move. Our true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friend, Peter. Jesus taught Peter to love everyone the way Jesus loves everyone. So Peter started sharing the good news that Jesus loves everyone and wants to be everyone's friend forever. It doesn't matter where a person lives, what they look like, or what language they speak. Jesus loves everyone. Does that mean Jesus loves you? Yes! Jesus loves everyone and wants to be everyone's friend forever. And that's what Jesus taught Peter. So Peter told his friends about Jesus. Peter told his family about Jesus. And then Peter went and told someone who wasn't his friend or his family about Jesus. Peter told a man named Cornelius that Jesus is alive and he loves everyone and wants to be everyone's friend forever. Does Jesus want to be friends with Cornelius? Of course! Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. Cornelius was so excited that he got all of his friends and family to come and hear the good news about Jesus too. And they all became friends with Jesus. And do you know what? Jesus wants to be our friend forever too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Peter learned to love everyone like Jesus, and we can do that too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus said to love everyone like Jesus, not just your family and friends. So Peter taught Cornelius and his family about Jesus, and they became friends of Jesus too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Peyton invited me to come read fun stories with her. You know what? I think the Clubhouse kids have been loving me just like Jesus loves everyone. See you next time.